hello again, and welcome to my workshop. Well, not technically my workshop, a southwestern Pennsylvania outpost of my workshop. This will probably be one of a few, if any, more videos where you'll actually see my face, because my videos, as many people who do this electronic frustration thing, the videos are not about me, they're about the electronics. But I figure I'd give an introduction here and we'd go from there. Behind me, you will see two large videotape recorders. These are Ampex VR1200 videotape recorders. I recently made a post about them on the EEV blog forum. Sorry about the noise, this is not a studio at all. <laughs> it is kind of a commercial building with not a lot of good acoustics, but we're working with it. Um, so these two VTRs were purchased in an auction on eBay, and they're at this building because, well, they're kind of large and heavy and they need somewhere to go. And they also need support hardware to work with them uh, that is sometimes noisy and large. Uh, these VTRs were purchased on eBay at an auction from a college, and they were picked up there in good physical condition. They were stored well. Um, but they do need an electrical restoration, possibly some mechanical restoration as well. And with that, that is what is going to start happening. This is the first video, the introduction, and the plans that will be for these, vid uh, for these recorders. The recorders, the one directly behind me, is set up for color recording and monochrome playback, it was used as part of a video editor setup, the one to, well, <laughs> to the uh, right on the screen there is set up for full color playback and recording. Uh, the one on the right here will be uh, fully restored and set up uh, with upgrades to make it usable as a, a uh, transfer VTR. There will be additions to it such as, you know, a velocity compensator, a, a um, dropout compensator, and possibly a digital time-based corrector if I can find one. Uh, the one directly behind me will be restored to exactly as it was set in 1967 because it does not have the color playback hardware. So it will be set for color record only, but it will be restored with its original Tektronix waveform monitor and original Conrack uh, to base monitor. So the first step in getting all these VTRs working is to work on the power wiring. The wiring is rubber covered wire and it has perished that is in the process of being replaced. And then once the wiring is replaced, then I will rewire the um, entire top bridge of the VTR, which I will show you now. The monitor bridge here on the top of the VTR will be um, upgraded. It will have uh, the monitor you see, which is a Tektronix uh, Trinitron monitor, high resolution Trinitron monitor. That will stay, but it will be mounted properly. Right now it's kind of sat in there, but I will properly rack mount it. The control panel you see on the right there in the bottom right will be um, cleaned, adjusted, the audio amplifier restored. Um, there's an audio amp and a monitor speaker behind the little grill. All the switches will be cleaned and the power wiring will be replaced. The waveform monitor is an original 1967 Tektronix and it will be replaced with a newer Tektronix combination waveform monitor and vector scope. Uh, so you can monitor both the video levels and the color. Um, on top of the waveform monitor, you see a sync generator that is a wave tech, um, not wave tech, video tech, um, digital sync generator, and it will be used to provide all the sync signals required by the VTR. Um, to, on top of the video monitor, you see a fan module. The fans uh, need some help, uh, need a little replacement of one of the fans and some wiring. 
but that will get replaced and put in control panel of the deck and where the tape is loaded um, it just needs a good cleaning uh, the video heads are according to the uh, literature that I've attained with this uh, those that's a uh, video heads has less than 200 hours and they should be good all the pots and switches will be cleaned um, and so on and so forth the uh, the real drive motor should be fine. The brakes will be adjusted if necessary. Um, the cap stand should be good. It's in good condition. On the right, you have the modulator, demodulator for the video electronics. Um, at the top and right below that, you have the servo electronics and below that, the little silver area with no um, with just a front and no controls, that is the electronic editor. The electronic editor will be removed because it's not needed. Um, the a fan that you saw on top will be placed between the two racks of electronics to make sure there's proper airflow through. Any bad components will be replaced. Um, not too many upgrades to do in this area. And then on the right, at the top, you have the audio electronics. Those will be recapped as necessary and adjusted. There we go. Looks a little better. Um, below that you have the AM, uh, the color tech, um, color time based corrector. Below that the AmTech monochrome time based corrector. Um, so those two together give you the color playback capability and then below that you have a set of a proc amp uh, processing amplifier to adjust your levels on the video and then finally below that you have the power supply for the real drive motors the servo electronics the modulator and demodulator as well as all the control relays um, the audio and video processing modules have their own power supplies and the electronics will all be checked out in sections. They can be hooked up and checked individually because they have loop throughs. Um, once we get to the servo electronics, those need to be run with the VTR. So once again, this will be part one technically of many um, videos on this. The first section you will see then of the next video will be on the monitor bridge and the switching electronics. That will be the next obstacle to getting that working and that will be upcoming in the next few weeks. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Also, please follow me on Patreon. The link will be listed below in the, uh, in the video description if you so desire.